of the uh, ovation when you with the crowd when you were to walk there in the final inning? <laughs> I, I think that might have been the best ovation I've ever gotten. I mean, you know, it just shows, I mean, how, how special Judge's season's been and, um, you know, just how much the fans want it for him. Uh, you know, they're just so excited for him to get one extra chance. Um, so, I mean, you know, I'm just glad to get him up to the plate. You clinched already, obviously. You know that you have a bye in the first round. But even there, do you feel the, the pressure of trying to get him back up to the plate there? Yeah, because... As teammates, we all want this for him too. So um, any any chance we get to to give him more opportunities, we're good, we're definitely going to push our hardest to to give him that. Hey, you probably almost quietly you're hitting close to 300 in the second half after the All Star break. You had the slow start, and the last few months have been very good. Uh, what changed things around for you where you've salvaged the season here? Um, just trying to hit more line drives, uh, just make solid contact, line drives, not try to do too much. I think. Um, you know, typically I've, I've hit a lot of fly balls in my career and, you know, when the balls were like really flying, uh, <laughs> sorry, I just had tacos. Um, uh, when the balls were really flying, that was a great approach, but, um, you know, now that they don't fly as, as far, it's, it, you know, it's time to hit more line drives. So, um, you know, I, I figured I could sit and complain about it or I could just make, make an adjustment and, you know, I think it's it's definitely been working out. And in the beginning of the in spring training, you had all the home runs, and uh, you went into the season as hot as you've been. Do you think, in retrospect, that you got too hot too soon there? <laughs> I mean, you can never be too hot. Uh, it's just the the trick is just to carry it over and and have consistency. Uh, that's the best players. You know, it's not they don't get any hotter than anybody else. It's, they just do it over the course of an entire season. So that's. That's the hardest part about baseball is being consistent. How do you make that? How did you make that adjustment? How do you change the mindset? Um, just you know, trying to be a little more direct, um, trying to eliminate some some slop in the back of my swing. You know, just actually not trying to generate any extra power or or any lift, and just relying on getting the barrel of the ball. How do you think Aaron has handled this? I mean, as this deeper into the season. Uh, I mean, he's he's just going about his business like normal. Um, you know, I, he's he's the ultimate professional, and, and you know, we all look up to him in, in terms of his demeanor and the way he carries himself. And, and he's just, you know, every single day, I think I think he's almost an inspiration for us, um, just to, in terms of composure and, and the way he goes about his business. So, um, you know, I'm. I think he's, he's doing fine. I know you and Trevino care most about defense and uh, have contributed offensively, but the, the pitching this year has been in the top of the league in ERA for overall starting pitching, relief pitching. Is that what you're most proud of of the season you and Trevino have combined here to do? I mean, the the credit goes to the pitchers. They're, they're, we have a lot of great arms, and, you know, they – they make it easy on me and, and Jose um, just for calling pitches because they're so good. Um, so, I mean, I think the credit goes to them, and, and we're just we're lucky to have the staff that we do. And, and, and me and Trevi, you know, we do our best to, to be as prepared as possible. But, I mean, those guys are they're all gamers, and they're all great pitchers. So.